Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics, Mesomathics, Fractals, and Self-Similarity video. In this video, I'll be going over the basics of fractals and self-similarity, as well as their applications to musical analysis and composition. A fractal is an entity, either occurring naturally or created mathematically, that exhibits a repeating pattern at every scale. This means that if you zoom in on the fractal pattern, it will look the same or nearly the same at every level. Sometimes this is called scaling invariance or evolving symmetry. If the repeating pattern appears the same at all levels, the fractal is said to be self-similar. Some self-similar fractals that you may be familiar with are the Menger sponge or the Sierpinski triangle. In a previous video, we talked about the harmonic series Recall that the harmonic series, also known as the overtone series, is a set of frequencies that sound above a given, fundamental frequency. All of these harmonic frequencies sound with some ratio-based relationship to the fundamental frequency. Looking at the frequencies of the harmonic series, the intervals between them, if you consider the frequency series to be an arithmetic sequence, the frequencies form a self-similar fractal as you go up in the series. This sequence, if you have a little analysis background, is also a Cauchy sequence, not coincidentally. Rhythmic structures in music can also display self-similar fractal patterns. It may help to consider the following rhythmic sequence. In 4-4 four, four time, we can start with, say, a whole note, which gets four beats, followed by a half note, which gets two beats, followed by a quarter note, which gets one beat, and so on. We can continue dividing by two to get smaller and smaller rhythms that are valid in 4-4 four, four time. Continuing on in this fashion will get us all the most common rhythms in simple duple time, which 4-4 four, four is. This is perhaps one of the most obvious fractal patterns in music. One very interesting real-life composition exhibiting fractal rhythmic patterns is Equus by Eric Whitaker. The piece begins with a simple quarter note pulse in the winds, and then this rhythmic structure is later substantiated by smaller subdivisions of the quarter note beats. Throughout the piece, rhythmic and metric displacement, also known as hemiola, shifts the alignments of beats but leaves the fractal structure intact. Here is a short clip showing the beginning of the piece as performed by the London Symphony Orchestra. It's an incredibly interesting, not to mention beautiful piece, so I recommend checking it out. Phrase length follows the same rule. Large phrases in simple duple meter tend to be 32 bars. These 32 bar phrases are usually divided into two 16 bar phrases, which are themselves each divided into two 8 bar phrases, and so on. This hierarchy of phrase length forms a geometric sequence, which is itself a self similar fractal. The same concept can actually be applied to macro harmonies. Instead of phrase lengths, just think of harmonic progressions. Modern composers can also create new compositions derived from fractal patterns. There are computer programs that iterate musical patterns using functions that follow, for example, strange attractors or random walks. Other pieces, such as the example we listened to earlier in the video, use less overt fractal patterns to help guide structural patterns and themes within the piece. Fractal musical composition is an interesting new area of exploration in the composition community. That's all for this video. If you haven't already subscribed, you can subscribe by clicking on the link right here on the blackboard. For more information about our affordable and accessible mathematics resources, visit us at centerofmath.org. Thank you for watching the Mesomathics series.